Discovering new ideas every day is crucial for any architect's work. While it is true that we can access almost any information through our phones or through our laptops or on the internet, books will continue to play a significant role in my life. There's always something uniquely satisfying about unwrapping a new book, inhaling that fresh book smell and turning page after page beautifully printed paper. It really allows me to really slow down and really fully immerse myself into the experience. So in this video, we'll dive into architecture books, specifically the ones that I find most inspiring and useful in my library. I'll also discuss how to start building your own architectural library, whether you're an architectural enthusiast or an architecture student or an architecture professional. Hey there, future architects. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Aldrin and today we'll be diving into the top books every architecture student especially if you're Gen Z or a millennial, that you should be able to read in 2024. So whether you're just starting out on your journey or looking to deepen your own knowledge, with these books, they're going to be essential in your architecture journey. So let's get into it. So to best explain, we're gonna to have to divide up these books into three respected categories. First will be visual books, next will be architecture literature, and third will be architecture business. Okay, so first up will be the manual of section. So this book is going to be essential read for architects, students, and anyone who is interested in the intricacies of architectural design. So the book is organized into several key chapters that examine different types of sections, such as layered or stacked, or shared or and step and among others. Now the drawing's attention to subtleties and nuances of how spaces are connected and interact through sections. Now the book's practical value lies in its ability to teach readers how to think through sections, not just as a technical requirement, but as a design strategy. It encourages architects to use sections as a tool for innovation, pushing the boundaries of what can be achieved spatially. It also makes a strong case for the importance of sections in understanding complexities of vertically, depth, and layering in architecture, qualities that are often overlooked in plan-dominated discussions. So the manual section is a masterful exploration of one of architecture's most unappreciated tools. It serves as both a detailed guide and a source for inspiration, demonstrating the power of section in revealing and shaping architectural spaces. Now the next book is Forbes Massey's Visualization Books. Now this is a visually stunning compendium of architectural renderings produced by Forbes Massey Studio, who are one of the most leading studios in the field of architectural visualization. So this book not only showcases of the studio's impressive portfolio, but is also a testament to the powerful visualizations in communicating architectural ideas and emotions. The book is simply designed with each page showing a stunning rendering image. It presents a wide array of projects ranging from large scale urban projects to intimate interior spaces. The images are meticulously composed with careful attention to light, texture and atmosphere making each rendering not just as an image, but an evocative experience. Now the book captures the beauty and power of visualization, showcasing how it can bring architectural ideas to life. And for those who are interested in the intersection of art, architecture, and visualization, well, Forbes Massey's visualization is going to be a must have for you. Now the next book is The Visual Lexicon. It's pretty much an enlightening and beautifully crafted guide to the language of architecture. Now the book serves as both as an introductory resources for newcomers to the field of architecture and a rich reference for seasoned architects, offering a visually engaging exploration of the fundamental elements that make up an architectural design. Now this book is organized as a visual direction presenting over 250 architectural terms and illustrations like arches and columns into even more complex concepts such as a cantilever or a pilaster, covering a broad spectrum of architectural terminologies. Now here are some practical applications. For students of architecture, this book is going to be invaluable resources for you in order for you to learn the language of the discipline. It provides a foundation upon which to build more advanced knowledge, makes it a perfect companion to architecture studies, right? So practicing architects and designers may also find this very useful as well as a quick reference or a way to be able to communicate your ideas more effectively with clients and colleagues. Okay, next we'll dive into architectural literature. So the first book that I'd like to recommend for you is The Poetics of Space by Gaston Bachelard. Gaston Bachelard's Poetics of Space is a philosophical exploration of the intimate spaces. Unlike traditional architectural texts, 
that focus on structure and form, this book delves into the emotional and psychological resonance of spaces, how they shape our memories, dreams, and even inner lives. He explores the home as a primal space, delving into how different parts of a house, the attic, the cellar, the corners, evoke specific feelings and memories. Through this poetic reflections, Bachelor makes us really aware of the profound connection between spaces and the human physique. It really reminds us of a nostalgic feeling which connects back to our memories, thoughts and emotions. So for architects and designers, the poetics of space really offers a unique perspective on how to think about spaces beyond its physical attributes. It challenges the readers to consider the experiential and emotional qualities of the spaces that they create, reminding us of what architecture is not just about function or aesthetics, but it's also how the spaces makes us feel. The next book for an architectural literature is going to be Towards a New Architecture by Le Corbusier. Now Towards a New Architecture by Le Corbusier is going to be one of the most influential and provocative architectural texts in the 20th century. Written by the pioneering modernist architect, Le Corbusier's manifesto boldly challenges the conventions of traditional architecture and calls for a new approach that embraces possibilities of a modern age. Now, Le Corbusier's vision is rooted in the principles of functionality, simplicity, and a focus of the essential. He advocates for the use of materials such as concrete, steel, and glass, and for the integration of modern technology into architectural design itself. Now, his famous declaration that a house is a machine for living in encapsulates his belief that architecture should be efficient, purposeful, and in harmony with the industrial advancements of the time. So Towards a New Architecture is not just a technical and theoretical guide, it is a passionate call to action. Corbusier's writing is assertive and sometimes polemical, pushing readers to rethink their assumptions about what architecture should be. For anyone interested in modern architecture, Towards a New Architecture is going to be an essential read for you. It really provides a clear understanding of the ideological foundations of the modernist movement and offers insights that's still relevant today. As architects continue to grapple with the balance between form and function and the demands of contemporary life. Okay, now let's dive into the topic of architecture business books. So the first book we're going to have to cover is the book called Architect Plus Entrepreneur by Eric Reinhold. Now, Eric Reinhold really takes the reader to an insightful journey into the world of an independent architecture practice, blending creativity with the grit of entrepreneurship. Really, this book is not just about designing buildings, it's about designing businesses that really reflect your values, your passions and visions as an architect. Now, Eric, who is known for his successful practice and YouTube channel, really shares practical advice on how to transform a traditional architectural role to becoming a successful entrepreneur. So what sets this book apart is its candid approach. Eric openly discusses the challenges and rewards of running your own firm, offering actionable strategies on everything from marketing and at client acquisition to managing finances and scaling your own business. For architects who really aspire to break free from the nine to five grind and really take back control of their professional destiny, Architecture and Entrepreneur is an invaluable resource for you. It's particularly relevant in today's digital age, where the opportunities for independent practice are more accessible than ever. Whether you're just starting out or looking to pivot your career, Eric's advice will inspire and equip you to think and act like an entrepreneur. The second book is going to be Arts Principles, the 50 years of hard learned lessons in building a world-class professional service firm. Now, Art Gensler's Arts Principles is a treasure trove of wisdom for anyone who's looking to build or manage a professional service firm, particularly in the architecture design industries. With over 50 years of experience leading Gensler, one of the world's most renowned architecture firms, Art Gensler shared his essential lessons that he learned throughout his illustrious career. Now, the book is structured as a series of concise, actionable principles that cover a wide range of topics, from client relationships and leaderships to firm culture and business strategies. His tone is really approachable, almost conversational in a way, making the book really accessible to readers at all entry levels. Now, Gensler emphasizes the importance of client service, suggesting that the key to a successful firm 
It's not just about delivering great design, but also about building strong trust-based relationships with clients. Now, another major highlight of the book is Gensler's insight into business development and growth. He shares strategies that really help Gensler grow from a really small firm to now a global powerhouse, offering valuable lessons on scaling a business whilst maintaining high quality and integrity at the same time. So Arts Principles is not just a guide for architects, it's going to be a manual for everyone looking to excel in the service orientated profession in business. Whether you're still a young architect or just still starting your own career or a seasoned architect professional looking to refine your approach on your business, this book really offers timeless advice that can help you navigate the complexities of the industries and building a resilient, successful firm. Okay guys, so there you have it. These are the top books for architecture students that I would suggest in 2024. And whether you're still looking for a visual inspiration, literature knowledge, or practical advice, these books will literally got you covered. Now, advice for you to start building your own library of books that you think is going to be valuable for you. Now, there are a whole bunch of books that will serve you at some point in your life. Now, these are my collections of books that I found really useful and have served me for my lifetime as an architecture student turned professional. And I hope that you will find this video as a good starting base for any of the books that I have recommended for you. And if you found this video really helpful, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll never miss an update for the next video. And do let us know in the comment section down below, what is your favorite architecture book? So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.